The great idea behind frameworks and libraries is that once you have a clear, agreed upon solution for common problems, you shouldn't waste any more time or resources reinventing the wheel. In a talk presenting the benefits of QuickJS, Mishko Heavy looks at the current JavaScript front-end space and outlines the fact that so many current popular options are miserably failing when it comes to network performance and time to interactive metrics. This got me thinking about the frameworks I'm using, the work that they are doing behind the scenes and what makes a library or a framework popular. If you are new to this channel, Hello, I'm a Java developer at heart, converted to the true religion of JavaScript with more than 10 years of front-end experience. During the years, I've worked with a wide range of libraries and frameworks, and just like most of you guys, I settled on React in recent years. However, I think that there finally is a better alternative out there, and we'll discuss it in detail in just a second. But why did we choose React? What makes it so special and what made it stand out of the crowd despite powerful competitors such as Angular or Vue? Some will say that it's the virtual DOM, even though in recent years its benefits started to fade compared to the alternative of working directly with the real DOM. The new wave of frameworks such as Svelte or Solid are the living proof of the virtual DOM deprecation since they completely abandoned this idea. Others would say that JSX is such a great concept that it alone moved the React library forward. Indeed, JSX is probably the best solution for templating out there and other frameworks such as Vue or quick are embracing it. Remember though, the JSX was a topic of really heated debates when it was first released because nobody could comprehend why mixing JS with HTML is a good idea. Almost 10 years later, most of us agree that JSX is better than pretty much any other alternative out there. Of course, the ecosystem around React is a big factor when choosing your next library. One could argue though that this ecosystem is the result of the library itself being extremely popular and various once highly regarded libraries like Redux for instance are now rendered obsolete by lightweight solutions such as Recoil or the Context API. In my opinion, the main thing React offers is simplicity. It does the minimum necessary to get the job done and it's not imposing any grand ideas or architectural patterns on the end user. Of course, React's detractors will argue that its small API and flexible approach leads to code that's difficult to maintain and, indeed, the saying that there aren't two React code bases that look the same has some truth to it. The reality is that React, especially with the release of the 16.8 version and hooks, is the only major library which feels like an extension of JavaScript or TypeScript. Its API footprint is extremely small and, other than some rendering caveats, it really is beginner friendly. As a result, for most use cases React helps developers avoid thinking about any library related constraints and just focus on building cool stuff. For a while this was more than enough, but libraries such as Astro or Quick and patterns such as the island architecture are pushing performance requirements a step further. While the dev experience is great, the React ecosystem currently is lacking proper solutions for fast content delivery and great time to interaction results. Even meta frameworks such as Next.js are relying on a hydration solution which, it turns out, it is not really an optimal manner to deliver and load single page applications on the client. So this leads me to Solid.js and Astro. Solid.js is, in short, great. It builds on top of React's model by following the same functional components plus JSX approach but removes some of the caveats and gotchas you were facing while writing React. It comes with a powerful reactive model based on signals which allows effects to run efficiently without the need of dependency arrays. The results are no rendering process and no virtual DOM. Furthermore, even though it comes with a state management solution baked in, it still ends up weighing only 7 kilobytes minified. And this is what I'm looking for when choosing the tools I'm working with. I want powerful libraries that require minimal effort to understand and which can be reliably used by any type of dev team regardless of experience. Probably one of the most difficult tasks in software development is to come up with simple solutions. If those simple solutions are also performant and they are free to use on top of that, well, you could say that we are really spoiled. So while Solid is the next step in the UI libraries world, it doesn't provide a server-side rendering solution. However, luckily for us, a few months back another great tool reached the version 1 milestone. Astro is, for all intents and purposes, going to disrupt the single page application space. For years, single page applications ruled the front-end world in both scenarios where they were needed and where they weren't. Believe it or not, we got to a point where we were building SPAs just to server-side render them in HTML for SEO purposes and then the whole app was recreated again on the client to link in the behavior. Astro took a step back and looked at the old days where multi-page applications were the status quo. While SPAs are bringing powerful behavior and great user experience to the table, the performant HTML first SEO optimized approaches are still better handled by multi-page applications. So when using Astro, you'll get an extremely fast optimized HTML response. Then the JavaScript code 
is sprinkled in when needed based on the island's architecture. By lazy loading JavaScript only on demand, Astro is able to keep the static payloads small and perform extremely well compared with the competitors. Again, we go back to the idea of smart, efficient architectures that help me avoid thinking too much about the performance of my application. Since I'm mentioning architecture, Astro provides yet another great feature which simplifies the process of building micro frontends. The micro frontends discussion is a long one and there are reasons to both follow and avoid this model. However, know that Astro allows you to choose one or more UI libraries to build its islands of interactivity. All in all, I think that with a tech stack containing Solid and Astro, we got to a point where we are extremely spoiled as developers. We can allow ourselves to be lazy, focus only on the implementation details we care about, easily build great complex user experiences and then send it all over to the client in an optimized manner. If you found this video useful, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching.